Yeah. So we totally didn't delete our uh, our previous save game by accident. But uh, here we are, back at the beginning. I gotta try to throw some programmer pro gamer strats. Yeah. Exactly what I was trying to do. I just wish I could skip. Who are you? Oh, hello. Can you help me? I I need to get home and go to bed because I don't feel very well at all. <laughs> oh no, no. Oh, so you can't help me at all. Uh, uh, actually, uh, yes, I can. Maybe. You didn't um, see anywhere where it okay. said like there was an auto save feature, name? right? No. Really? So I don't know how. You haven't we made it here. through no. like the almost half the first Birdie. level for it not to save from all the way back hey, at the Birdie. beginning. Um, so how it's just a little confusing. Yeah. It makes me kind of wonder if like emulating this game would almost be a little bit better. Because at least then we'd at, we'd be able to run it like upscaled. You see those buttons? Actually, you'll find that uh, uh, they're called context sensitive. <laughs> Come on, Birdie. And uh, just let uh, me well, press B. The, uh, uh, press B. Press B. Oh yeah, the light comes on, uh, and it makes this nice thing. Right, that ting noise. You guys ting. There, no, ting. That's it. That's it? Yeah. Okay, I'll press B. Ooh. Ah. Hey, don't mind if I do. So, what does that mean? It means contact sensitive. It's sensitive to context try over there okay <laughs> love the sides as fuck again. off crows mm -hmm. this is feck feck off crows oh it does mm -hmm. mm. oh just what I needed in fact, it would seem to me that these give me just on, what I need at that moment in time. Just a little bit faster, Conquer. Oh, I see what he means. Context sensitive. Clever. Oh, I feel loads better. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, and by the way, if for whatever reason you want to yes. skip all these wonderful cutscenes, then just press the L button. But you will have to have watched them at least Oh god, Conquer, yes we have. Alright. <laughs> Not according to this game. We haven't yeah. saved, so we're gonna have to watch every single one all over again. Yeah. Oh, I go. Can't go. Now then. Go. Then yeah, I got it. I... Fuck. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, it didn't. Uh, it didn't do the no, funny helicopter. Hey, at least, at thing. least you're not doing the same thing that I did. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of sad that I genuinely remember this game handling and playing a lot better on the N64. Mm -hmm. I mean, Xbox hey, actually. I mean, to be honest, we tried to play Fusion Frenzy not too long ago, and I remember that handling a lot better too. Yeah, but I mean, that was on the like the original Xbox, like. Yeah, but there's I don't know if it's just the TV, but I feel like there's a lot there's a lot of input latency on this. Ah, who's this guy? Yeah, we know if you think you're coming this We know way, sat on a get uh, on a piece of gothic again. architecture. Please oh, <laughs> let me skip. Drama. I just wanna get past, please. No. I don't think so. 
I've only just got comfy. Have you ever sat on a piece of gothic architecture for 200 years? Gets right up your ass, you know. Thought it was about time to move on to a bridge, say. And I'm not moving now. Isn't it a little bit early in the day to start talking about gothic architecture? Well, if you care to come a bit closer, we can discuss things of another nature. The game mode actually, the game mode for the TV actually made the input latency a little bit better. Oh, God. Let's see, where are you going? Forgot about the lever. Almost at least back by the bees. Mm -hmm. I just wonder, is it? it I, don't don't quit. We don't. No, I, I know, but I'm just saying. Like, I don't know how to. Okay. I, I don't. Say, please. I don't see how to save them. Yeah. I feel like, there we go. I feel like I hit him the first time I swung at him. Yeah. And the second and third time felt more convincing than the first. Yeah. game. Some shut eye. Finally. Skip it. Like genuinely confused about like how to well, save. Mm. I have yeah. a job for you. As you can see. The table. The table I'm not sure. Well, again. I mean while we have to sit here and watch this cutscene again. Look at this file. I think I see the problem. Might as well look it up. I will see what I... She wants to get me a moment, though. 
I'll come back later. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Uh, I was best quick at the counter. It says you have to when you when you're playing Conquer's Bad Fruity, you actually have to hit start and hit quit. You can't just exit the game or close or close out the software. Pretty sure I did do that last time. I thought you did as well. I remember we Because I remember we went back into the bar. We were sitting in the bar and then we turned off. Yeah, but that was like right after we started, I thought. I thought no, we went back into the bar and like after um, after we were done recording for the night and we turned off the console after that. Anyway, what shall we? Um, the milk, the milk, the table, the table, the table. What shall we do? What shall we do with this? Um, clean slate. Yeah, clean slate. Uh, this uh, anti gravity chocolate is kind of working. Uh, that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. At the window with that. I thought we did. Pretty sure we did. Yeah, I don't know. The only answer I'm I'm finding is that you have to hit the uh, quit game option in uh, in the actual menu of Conquer's Bad Fur Day. And when you quit, I think it means all the way through. Maybe. Who knows? Hey! Some wise guy trying to steal our nice new hide! Come on, boss! Let's go get him! Yeah! Let's get him! <laughs> Oh, now what have I done? Damn it. It still has been a long time since I've played this game. Mm -hmm. But it is... It does feel quite a bit different on the Xbox joy, uh, joysticks. Like, they feel more sensitive than the N64 one did. But I should be able to just run this back to the... Be lady, get the money, pay Birdie for the manual, and get us through to the next spot with that pitchfork dude. That's one down. Now I just have to kill the Beals. You didn't actually speak to her last uh, last time you played, did you? I did. You did? Mm -hmm. So I remember you running just right to the hive and grabbing the hive. No, I, I spoke to her. Because I remember her crying and saying something about the hive. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you, Mr. Squirrel. And none of this would have happened if it weren't for that no good husband of mine. He's gone off, you know, with another woman. Oh, really? That doesn't surprise me. What? Nothing. Anyway, as a reward for your good service to the bee oh. community. I see. It still kind of gives you that little exposition about this. her husband running off. Mm -hmm. Oh, how much? 
Got any Mepsi packs? What? Damn. Um, uh, actually, uh, I think, uh, well, uh, uh, a ten dollar. Long time. You have manual, long time. There you go. Uh, there you go. Manual. Just press B. <laughs> Okay, help me. Yeah, cash. Ah. Oh, I it'll appear the and if you need to skip it, the catapult. Let's see now. And let's Yeah, I, I really do feel like uh I'd almost rather emulate it at this point. Like yeah. maybe maybe I'll uh oh, oh well. And I can finally go back to that weird little farm world. Oh, sorry. Hmm? I don't know, I just... yawned really bad. Oh. Not even tired. Hmm. Hmm, let's see. That way... Uh, that Let's just way. be me getting over mm. the frustration I dealt with when I realized that we had to start this all mm. over again. Maybe. <laughs> right, so you also... You also did that mouse thing. You gave the mouse the cheese. Uh, and then I got to the hay barrel. The milk? In the glass. And the Broke. pitchfork guy was hanging. Oh, and the silver. Hmm. hmm. Made me, made a... me yawn now. Hmm. I must do some experiments, I think. Yeah. Pie plus milk. Yeah. That sounds good. And they will start this out. And then my head will start it. Then, my lord, they will see who uses the milk tape. All right, here we go. A sailor, a sailor little fella. You Still better get this fat this. ass bitch off from my back, Prado. Gee, so many people around here want me to solve their problems. What are you gonna do for me then? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I say I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. You get rid of that freaking mouse critter, uh, and maybe I'll help you out. Just maybe. Oh, just one more thing. I say, just one more thing. You make one into my friend, Bird. Just mention my name, Jack, and everything will be just dandy. I still never understood the iron blocks, though, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird, but they are funny. I mean, I guess it was just kind of a rare thing, though, that they used to have weird... weird characters that were, like, an anthropomorphic. Mm -hmm. So for that part, if you walk down the as close as you can to the wall, mm -hmm. you can pretty much just walk through those guys, like whether or not they're whether they're jumping or not. Oh. Yeah. I assume it's a, a developer unintended like workaround, but yeah. there's like just enough room when you're going down there that you can just 
sneak right through them. I guess it's just that one one or two little spots that they can catch you at because one more should just about do it. I'm sorry, but I, I still think the, the rat tearing ass is pretty funny. Yeah. I guess this is the first time we've ever done that, though, where we accidentally destroyed a save game on a playthrough. Yeah, that is true. I guess the more we play, like, older games, the more we're gonna do that, because... Yeah. But then again, I remember in, like, the original Conquerors, you used to, there was an option to hit save on the game. So... Spend some sharp cheese. Mm -hmm. oh, I couldn't have lasted a moment longer there. Thank you very much, Mr. Squirrel. Now, there's something real neat inside that barn. You just gotta get in there, Sonny. Yeah, it was this part that it took me forever. That freaking barn. Yeah. Hopefully I can do this part pretty quick, because I... I don't remember if uh, the way that you were doing it was like the fastest way to do it, or if hey, there was like a there. way to jump on, on the pitchfork's back. Apparently there's something mm -hmm. real neat inside this barn. Uh, I can't quite see it myself. Unless of course some guys jumping around stinking a horse poo is real neat. Which, uh, of course it isn't. <laughs> this is pretty neat. Frankie, I think there's a little fellow over there. He's just coming in through the door. I think it's your turn to kick his. Is it your turn? Is it his turn? I think it is his turn yeah, to kick his ass. Yeah, it's his turn. Yeah, Frankie, go and kick his ass. Yeah. Go on, go on, kick his ass. I ain't kicking, but it's, that, it's always my turn to kick my asses. Frank, just go over there and kick his ass, Frankie. For f sake. Yeah, yeah, go over there, kick his ass. Somebody's gotta kick his ass. It ain't gonna be me. I'm a, I'm a rock. Yeah, you don't kick ass. But I'm a paint pot anyway. I'm a f paint pot. Go kick his ass. 
I'm not going over there. You can come over here. Okay, okay, hey. Okay, here it comes. Quick, quick. Just keep still, keep still. Hmm. I was wondering why the pitchfork was, uh, alive and, like, and, like anthropomorphic and the shovel wasn't. Like, the shovel that's just right next to him. There's a shovel right next to right. You, you can't see him during the cutscene, but there's another. There's a shovel right next to him that's just not. It's just a normal shovel. See. What the fuck is it doing? I got a double kill there. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh shit. Can't hit him with the pan. I'll go for one of these smaller ones before I go for. There we go. Before they all start going too fast. And that is the shittest, crappiest, crappiest, this kick ass I've ever seen. Yeah, I, yeah, that is pretty crap. As, kick, as kicking ass goes, it was abysmal, and you is a sh bastard, stupid bastard. <laughs> Isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he sure is. So, what are you gonna do now? Kill yourself? Because that's what I recommend. Yeah, you can kill yourself. And Matt, we got a rope right here. And we've got a rope. Yeah, we got a rope. There you go. <laughs> what kind of friends are you? I wonder who just left a noose hanging up in the barn. I don't know. Right Apparently now. they told him that they got him a rope. <laughs> what I just realized, though, what? is that the paint can is red paint, and then the paintbrush keeps jumping around, and it's got fresh red paint that's coming off of him every time he jumps. Yeah. So it's like, what, what are they... <laughs> yeah, they were getting experimental, weren't they? Yeah. I think they were. He <laughs> got a neck. You stupid bastard ain't gonna neck, are you? He ain't gonna neck, has he? I already said that. Shut up. Oh, okay. I don't believe this. I don't appear to have a neck of any description. <laughs> I ain't got an esophagus. Oh, diddle die damn. I am gonna be up here for some time. Alright. So, this is about where you were. Yeah. Uh... I guess let's wait until the... Do you... you remember those platforms? Yes. Do you want me to just jump through them real quick? Or Did do you I want... already finish them? No. You, didn't. you were like halfway through and I'll you like raised it. Okay. If there is an N64 classic, I, 
This is one of the games that I really wonder if they're gonna put on it because it's it's one of those like more adulterated hey buddy. Nintendo games dying. like that. Hey buddy. Don't ignore oh, like it's a unicorn of the Nintendo platform as a whole because of what, do you want? what it what it really was. In my own country, I'm a king. Oh, really? Yeah. That bitch threw me out. Apparently, the hive keeps getting stolen. Well, I don't care. I couldn't fit in the f thing anyway. <laughs> you see how fat she is, bitch. Now I'm reduced to the states of a bum. Uh, well, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I gotta go now. Uh, you're like the rest of them. I ain't gonna tell you about the big-breasted babe then. That, the, the big what? <laughs> uh, thought that might have got your attention. She's lovely. That's why the wife kicked me out. Uh, all I want to do is pollinate her. Oh, she's got stigmas like you wouldn't believe. What do you mean? I thought you said you had big... Yeah, over there, behind us. Hang on a second. Breast. She's a sunflower. Yeah, what did you expect her to be? She's a sunflower with big breasts. I'm a bee. Stupid <laughs> I just wondered, like, you gotta help me out, buddy. when they were coming up with this, just like, oh yeah, there's a, a sunflower with big boobs and a bee is trying to pollinate her and you gotta help him. Like, that's, it's like so asinine. Alright, there we go. So we're going to take a little break, uh, just because now we're finally back where we were uh, in the last episode. I guess this will be uh, episode 2.5. 2.5? The Electric Boogaloo? Alright. We'll be right back.